Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Generation 1. This model is amazing and it is aging really well. In this video I'm going to show you how to fully disassemble it and swap the main board. I highly recommend you to start by disabling the built-in battery. This is a firmware feature specific for ThinkPad laptops. Turn on the laptop and immediately hit enter. The startup interrupt menu will appear. Hit F1 to enter the BIOS setup utility. Either a graphical user interface or a text interface will appear. Go to config, select power and after that navigate to disable built-in battery. In this video you see the graphical user interface. Immediately after you confirm, the laptop will turn off. At that point it is safe to proceed with the hardware repair. After temporarily disabling the building battery, I highly recommend you to start the disassembly process by removing the keyboard. On ThinkPad T14, this is done from the front side of the laptop. This is a major difference compared to T14S. Very carefully and gently remove the left and the right plastic keys. And after that, using a Phillips screwdriver, loosen the two captive screws that hold the keyboard to the main chassis of the laptop. After that, gently push the keyboard up. Using an appropriate plastic tool, remove the clips that hold the plastic part of the keyboard to the laptop and gently lift it. Take your time, do it carefully and make sure you don't make any scratches to the keyboard. On the back of the keyboard, there are two cables that connect it to the main board of the laptop. Carefully disconnect the connectors and remove the keyboard from the laptop. Step number three is to remove the back cover of the laptop. Use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the six screws on the back of the Lenovo ThinkPad T14. After that, carefully remove the back cover using a plastic tool. This way you're gonna have access to the main board and the battery of the laptop. Step number four is to remove the battery. Carefully disconnect the connector between the battery and the main board of the laptop. After that, using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the four M2 screws. Slightly push the battery up and after that carefully lift it to completely remove it from the ThinkPad T14. Typically, Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Generation 1 comes with M2 NVMe 2280 solid state drive. Step number 5 is to remove it. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screw that holds it, after that pull out the SSD and after that put back the screw to make sure that you won't lose it. Step number 6 is the most difficult and time consuming. Now it's time to remove the main board from Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Generation 1. There are a lot of different connectors and we have to disconnect all of them. After that, using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the metal plate on the right side of the Lenovo ThinkPad T14. There are several screws that hold it to the main chassis of the laptop. Continue by removing the antennas for the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth and the rest of the cables that are on the top of the main board. Two of these cables are coming from the display panel. One of them is for the LCD uh, display and the other one is for the web camera. Both of these cables have handles that you have to carefully lift up before pulling out the cables. Also disconnect the cable between the main board and the Ethernet port. There are five screws in total that hold the heat sink and the fan to the main board so we will need a Phillips screwdriver again. First I'm going to loosen the four screws around the CPU and after that the fifth uh, screw which is between the CPU and the fan. After releasing all these five screws, lift up the fan and the heatsink. There are three screws more on the top of the main board. We have to unscrew them to completely release the main board from the main chassis of the laptop. Once this has been done, the board is free from the main chassis of the laptop, so I can just lift it up. Here is the new board. Obviously, the last step of this repair is to replace the old board that I've just removed with this new board. Unlike the motherboards that we find in desktop PCs, in a laptop we have a main board that integrates the CPU. In this case, this is Intel i5 10th generation. For the Lenovo ThinkPad T14 generation 1, the main board also incorporates a RAM, which is soldered on the board. In this case, the new board has 16GB of RAM. In my opinion, 
Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Generation 1 has the advantage compared to T14S Generation 1 that it also has a slot for extending the RAM so we can put even more RAM in it. Obviously, the process of putting the new board in the laptop requires doing all the steps from the previous disassembly procedure in reverse order. Connect all cables to the dedicated connectors, put all the screws back in their places. By the way, if you have a spare thermal paste, it's a very good idea to put it between the CPU and the heatsink. According to me, the most important part of the assembly is to make sure that the heatsink and the fan are properly connected because over the time Intel i5 gets really hot. Actually, this happens really quick, so you need a proper cooling. The whole process took me about 10 or 15 minutes. However, thanks to the magic of video editing, I'm going to fast forward everything here. So the video is with speed increased by five times. I know that nobody likes to watch too long videos, so I'll try to keep it simple and quick. As you can see in the video, as part of the assembly process, I also plugged back the SSD and fastened it with the screw. However, when you're doing it, please take your time, make sure that everything is properly connected. And I repeat, double check that the fan and the heatsink for the CPU are properly connected. By the way, this new board also came with a um, memory stick plugged in in the extra RAM slot. Once the main board is in its place, the next step is to put back the battery. I have to fasten it with the four M2 screws and connect the cable that connects the battery to the main board. With this, the assembly process on the back of the laptop has been done, so I can put back the back cover and fasten it with the six captive screws. Again, I'm going to use the Phillips screwdriver. Don't forget about the tray for the SIM card on the back. We're almost there. After that, I've opened the laptop and put back the keyboard in. Finally, I put back the left and the right plastic keycaps on the keys of the touchpad. Now comes the moment of truth. Let's turn on the laptop and see if it still works. Just plug the USB-C power supply to the dedicated connector to enable the temporary disabled built-in battery. On the first boot on the laptop, you get an error message because of the date and time. This is happening because we've disconnected the real-time clock, so the main board doesn't remember the date and the time. We have to set it again from the uh, BIOS utility menu. After setting up the correct date, let's run some tests. When this ThinkPad is starting, press Enter and after that press F10 to diagnose hardware. This is another cool feature for ThinkPads that I really like. There are numerous tests that are available, however the most important in my opinion is to check the fan. I'm a Linux user and I have installed Ubuntu 2404 on this laptop. So here I booted it and you can see the CPU, which I mentioned this i5 10th generation. And we have 24 gigabytes of RAM in total, 16 soldered on the main board that we've replaced. So this is the new main board and eight gigabytes um, on the additional RAM slot, which means 24 in total. Here is a quick summary of what we have done in this video. I've disabled the built-in battery, I removed the keyboard, after that I removed the battery, disconnected the old connectors and replaced the old main board with a new one that has more RAM. Finally, I diagnosed the hardware and I ran some quick tests. The repair is successful. My Lenovo ThinkPad T14 Generation 1 still works and it has more RAM. This is a great model, I really like it. I hope this video will help other owners to maintain, upgrade and repair their ThinkPads T14. Um, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, hit the like button and stay tuned for new videos. See you soon.